Hello, so I'm just giving you an update from home. Um, we went to one of the garden centres um, that we've been waiting for to have uh, some brassicas in, um, ready for winter veg. We went over this morning, nothing out, bar <coughs> 10 plots, I think, 10 little pots of stuff. Um, but there was some herbs on and they um, had these like trugs on that they've got like a herb garden in. Um, so Eric bought one of those for me. Really good price as well. It was £12 and um, there's a lot of herbs in it. But obviously you get the you get the trug to use as well. So it's another one that we can use. Obviously we've got a lot of plots. So we'll have to put one on each plot that we can uh, use for, for harvesting all, all the gear. We've got some basil plants as well. I'm going to put them, um, one of them in the greenhouse and split them up, put some here and on the other, the, like the two plots that we've got in the greenhouse and in the polytunnel as well. Um, but I'll show you the brassicas and the onions that we bought there as well. So this is the herb trug. Trug, yeah, is that what you call them? Um, this has got lemon balm, coriander. There's a basil plant at the back. This is sage. This is um, curly parsley, and then there's a chocolate mint at the back, which smells absolutely gorgeous. I've already got a chocolate mint plant um, outside here at home, but I think that's really good value for money for all those herbs that you can get cuttings off because they are very, very uh, evasive. And then the, the, the plastic trug as well, it's got like really stable feet on. There's a, there's a great handle on there. I think that's really, really good value for money. And then the three basil plants that I'm going to split up because there's a couple in each one. Get those potted and put them around tomatoes and stuff and uh, in here and, and down on the allotments as well. So here's the brassicas. I've got two spring cabbage and a cauliflower and three lots of Japanese onions. Now, two of these are for one of our friends. Any ones of cabbage as well, but the onions we're going to let them crack on in there and then put them out probably October time, ready for next season. Now I have heard a lot of people putting them in on the shortest day of the year and then harvesting them on the longest day of the year. I think that's also a Charles Dowden rule, but um, I think that's what we're going to stick to. We put ours in on the eighth of October, and you've seen the harvest that we got of onions, um, absolutely fantastic, but those there's quite a lot in there and there were 250 each for for those trays and for the brassicas as well so again it's it's really good value for money considering that we've lost a lot to the caterpillars and bugs and everything um we're gonna protect them in here until they're a lot bigger even if i've got to repot them just to keep them going um but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely taking care of these this time i'm i'm not losing any more because I've, I've had enough <laughs> Something else I wanted to show you as well. Um, I've put a post on our channel. I think it was sometime last week. Um, just to say like I had something to share with you. Now, I've found this website. Some of you may have already heard of this place. I thought it was great. I was just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling for ages, page and page and page. What I did wrong was I didn't look at it. I was, that, I was quite excited about it. I didn't look at it properly, so you can put, you can filter it. So you've got like different categories for um, fruit, veg, plants, all that type of thing. And I'd already clicked on my items. It's from a website called Seeds to Sow Limited, and they're based in West Yorkshire. So fellow Northerners, um, thanks very much. I made an order of some basil sweet Genovese. There's 150 seeds in there and I think they were, there was something like 75 pence. Um, but I don't think any of these cost us more than like two pound for a packet. So I got some cabbage, golden acre, um, earliest of all. That's those. And it comes in a little packet. It tells you on the back, um, packed year ending. And then it's got like all the instructions on. Um, it tells you how deep to plant them the spacing and everything so the back is really good again i'll do a close-up of the um of the back of one of them so you can see but the packets are really good as well i think they they're, they're really nice little packets 
you can actually see how many seeds you've got in as well like not like some of the little foil ones and the white ones where you're thinking like how many seeds are in here and you've got to tap them for ages to get them out these are really really good packets i love them um we got some courgette yellow courgettes because we had a really good harvest of those uh where are they yep is it a tina f1 so they're the yellow ones that we've got and i also got some green ones if you've seen our videos you'll know that we haven't had a good um succession of green they were all like stripey i did have some good courgette and cheese loaf though um so whatever those courgettes were they did us proud um but these it says on here as well these are perfect for pots a lot of them have got all perfect for pots to be honest but the way forward for us for courgette i think is in pots um a bit like what we've done down one of the allotments we got some carrot some chardonnay two red cord again perfect for pots heritage variety approximately 100 seeds in there um got all the instructions on the back i bought some marigolds french durango mixed so that would be nice to have in the garden ready for next season i'm going to put these in the uh, greenhouse and the polytunnel beetroot bold hardy ones i've already put those some of those in today you'll have seen our video earlier on the basil and some lettuce little gem um approximately 200 seeds in there all of that i got all of these for um just under seven pound and i think that's really really good I heard about wilco's um closing not closing sorry administrators are in it's really really sad there's a lot of people possibly going to be fearful for losing their jobs i went into one of our local stores um a couple of days ago and they're putting the halloween decorations up so yes it doesn't necessarily mean that when administrators are called in a place is going to close down but i thought that was a little bit of faith to have um if they're putting the halloween decorations up they've obviously been told not to you know stop and halt all stock replenishing that type of thing but i went around the garden center part and there was nothing in there was no seeds there was a few bulbs for flowers and that was about it there wasn't any seeds like anything like this or nothing so i don't know i was a bit funky i don't know what was going on there but i've been waiting a, a, just over a week for these um i have paid for these i haven't um i'm not affiliated with them or anything like that I'd have, I did tell them I was going to do a review and what they've told me was the next order I make, because I missed some off, that they're going to give us free postage um, on my next order. They've given us a discount code for that and a 10% off my next order. So I think that's really good. Again, I'll post the pictures up um, of the website. I'll, I'll put it all in the description. But yeah, I'm, I can't wait to get some of these put in. The reviews on them are, are excellent germination um so yeah and that's what we want that's what we want i'm definitely going to be buying again from them stock up our seed um cabinet and uh, and give give some of these a go so yeah again thanks for watching um hope you enjoyed our update